come to us, Jerome, after just one minute, but that's all it's taken for Chesterfield to take the lead at the SMH Group Stadium. Just a few minutes ago in the preview, we were talking about whether the striker, Will Grigg, would be the man on fire. Well, he is the man that has put Chesterfield ahead after just 60 seconds. Liam Mandeville ran down the right wing, managed to float across into the box. It was blocked and went behind for a corner from there I, the cross was floated in from the corner and there was Will Grigg ready and waiting to tap home from inside the six yard box and 60 seconds into this one and it's that's all it's taken for Chesterfield to take the lead and what already by Will Grigg from a set piece Ross Jenkins will definitely have just been thinking that that is the worst possible start try and keep it tight against the league leaders the runaway league leader 20 points clear as Andre Burley gets the ball stuck within his feet and he's lost out to Armando Dobra who works his way into the box plays the ball across and there's another chance here for Naylor and it's deflected good save from Tom Watson who does well to get his left leg to a low drive from the midfielder Tom Naylor and he makes his first save Banks tries to get on on top of it but Oxford City get him away from the danger zone and here come Oxford City chance of offside they think Josh Parker's offside the Chesterfield fans but Parker keeps come going into the box the shot towards goal by Ashby drops towards the edge of the area on the D and Naya Kirby sends a shot towards goal which goes just wide of the post and that was close from Oxford City perhaps doesn't get the fanfare it deserved for Naya Kirby and Oxford City but again Ox the hoops aren't are down but certainly not out they're not they're standing up to the challenge that Chesterfield face and we did say, you know I bet you're absolutely bursting to be on the on the field and playing in this game today but what what do you think the instructions are going to be from Ross Jenkins and his side just to kind of survive this early pressure and then take the chances when it comes to them I know it sounds obvious but surely that's the the case it will be today yeah, oh, there's a chance. Oh, there's a yeah. chance, and he, there's a chance for City. He goes down, That's penalty, penalty Oxford City. And it's a mistake from the goalkeeper, Harry Tyra. He gives the ball away. Harvey Greenslade runs it into the box, and there's a decision to make for the goalkeeper here. City players want the goalkeeper sent off. Nevertheless, City do have a penalty. We'll just wait to see the referee's decision. That almost happened all of a sudden. The referee marches over to Harry Tyra. What's he going to give? Reaches for his pocket. That was... A goal scoring opportunity yellow card for Harry Tyra penalty to Oxford City and out of nowhere a mistake in the back line has gifted the hoops a chance to equalize at the SMH stadium so Harry Tyra booked perhaps could have gone there for but maybe that's that double jeopardy rule anyway Josh Parker steps up for City the referee blows his whistle in front of the crowd of the Chesterfield fans pressure penalty Saved! Parker goes to his right, so does Harry at his left. Harry Tyra goes to the right, gets down into the corner and parries the ball away. Opportunity miss for Oxford City. And that has just buoyed the Chesterfield fans up even These more. Teams in the spy right squad, uh, players in the spy right squad, sorry. But like I said, this game's just started to calm down after a frantic opening 27 28 minutes or so flicked on by Banks looking for Grigg who goes head to head with Phillips Phillips tries to head it back to Watson but he's invited Grigg to take a stab at goal chance enough for Chesterfield great save by Watson and eventually smashed down the field from inside his own six yard box by Gile Phillips and City almost architects of their own downfall there Louis Coyle. Louis Coyle started well for Oxford City as does Josh Parker despite that penalty miss continues to work hard off the ball Burley clips the ball into the right channel which Harry Birtwistle will look to run onto goes shoulder to shoulder with Jamie Grimes and wins the opportunity here good quick throw in and here's Greenslade in on goal Harvey Greenslade shoots into the side netting it was a tight angle from the Bristol Rovers Loney to find the net if he did find the net from that angle it would have been a superb goal didn't quite get enough on it to test Tyra and in the end although the goalkeeper did dive he was more than relieved what do you think he will say at half time I mean it, it, it could be easy to get downhearted after missing an opportunity like that but they're still well in it yeah well I think you come away to Chesterfield on a Tuesday night and um, 
you, you don't expect to get much, if anything, uh, here. It's, it's a tough place to come. You know, you, you said there's 7,000 people here. They're top of the league. They're flying. They're going to win the league. It is just when, uh, not if. Um, so they, they've got to take positives from uh, from this first half. They've got another oh, chance. Oh, there's another here. chance, and Greenslade's in here. Another mistake. Greenslade goes one-on-one -on -one with Grimes and eventually oh. sends a shot in towards goal, but the Chesterfield centre-half does well to track back and stop that from that shot from going towards Harry Tyra's goal. Another chance squandered from Oxford City. Another chance, though. They are creating chances here in Derbyshire. Just <laughs> over four minutes now as that clock ticks on. Still 1-0 to Chesterfield, but Oxford City giving a really good account of themselves again in the National League. They may be adrift at the bottom, but they're certainly not playing like a team that are. Kirby rescues a difficult ball into his feet but manages to juggle with it to keep it alive Ashby's floated out to the left there takes a little bit of a heavy touch but rescues it and City will continue to play themselves out it's a rare opportunity now for the hoops to play the ball out from the back themselves and they'll do so under pressure Humphrey Ewers now who's not really seen too much of the ball so far ball towards the back line Harvey Greenslade's onside here gets the ball trapped within his feet back towards goal plays in Burt Whistle crossing towards the box Parker there, sets it to the edge of the area for Kirby and he gets that shot all wrong. It was another well-worked move by Oxford City, but that time from Naya Kirby, that shot flies over the bar. But I will reiterate, I've said it a few times already recently, Oxford City well in this game. I think if you look at these two teams and before the game and didn't know where they were in the league table, you certainly wouldn't say Oxford City were a bottom of the table team. No, definitely not. Um, there's been a lot of chances. Jones again, well closed down from Greenslade, he gets the ball back, he's got Josh Parker making a run beyond the back line, but he can't quite spot him, the Bristol Rovers low knee. Here's Latrell Humphrey Ewers, plays the ball forward, Josh Parker's quite clearly offside there, but the linesman's flag stayed down, Ashby's onside, but that's a poor touch from Josh Ashby, and with the goal gaping, and the a brilliant chance to have a shot from Josh Ashby, he takes a heavy touch and it bounces into the grateful grasp of Harry Tyra. Josh Parker was offside, Josh Ashby wasn't. Another chance goes begging for Oxford City. And that is just so unlike Josh Ashby's at McKecker and brilliant chance there for City. Quite a lot. Um, but uh, yeah, I think, I think they, they will be working oh, we'll on set pieces. Because here come Chesterfield as Banks plays the ball into Naylor on the far side. And that could be 2-0 and it is 2-0. And City did have an opportunity to equalise earlier in the half, but that chance has got much harder as Tom Naylor scores his 11th goal of the season from the tightest of angles. Ollie Banks plays Naylor in and he brings the ball towards the touchline, pokes it underneath the legs of Tom Watson and it goes into the back of the net with the aid of the post. And that is a hammer blow for Oxford City, who have been very good in this game. At 1-0 down, you just think perhaps there's something in it for them. 2-0 down, that might just be that. He sets the perhaps. ball to Humphrey Hughes on the edge of the box, tries to jink past Naylor, but his pass goes straight into Naylor's legs. City do have control of the ball again though as it bounces over to the right but Andre Burley and Harry Burtwistle can't quite find the ball and a thunderous challenge there from Josh Ashby to win the ball he does win the ball and him and Armando Dobra fall over in a heap in, in front of each other it was a crunching challenge from Josh Ashby you could hear the connection with the ball from over here it was fair City will continue to come forward here. They're looking for a way back in. Ross Jenkins said in the week they've got no pressure on them. They've played exactly like that. They just need to create an opportunity here. Burt Whistle into the box. Coyle sends a shot towards goal. Brilliant save by Harry Tyra. Fantastic save to tip Lewis Coyle's right-footed stabbed effort from the edge of the six-yard box over the top of the crossbar. That was close, that McEachern. Very close from Lewis Coyle. Yeah, Coyle's got in at the back stick. Uh, he's done that a few times this season. Um, he's done well to force the save out of the goalie. We've got another set The piece. atmosphere here in Derbyshire. These Chesterfield fans getting behind their team. They know that 
a win today could set up a grandstand day on Saturday. But here's Dobra on the outside of the box. Sends a shot towards goal! Again, not a bad effort from Dobra. Fierce strike with his right foot that bent away from Tom Watson's goal. But away the key word there because it went the wrong side of the post. And the Oxford City goalkeeper grateful in the end to see that fizzed effort fly wide, not far away Has again. the step up to playing full-time teams whilst you're still part or oh, a break because here come Chesterfield again Grigg chests it down inside the box well blocked falls to Grimes another chance off the post and away and Chesterfield almost did have a third I think in the end it's the centre half Ash Palmer who's hit that against the post bounced around the cent uh, sorry bounced around the box and eventually into the feet of Parker uh, sorry Palmer and he smashes that shot against the post. So close for Chesterfield. Watson was beating all ends. The winner of that 50-50, though. Berry, Sheckleford, shaped pass into Grigg. Good touch by Grigg, but he's muscled off the ball by Giles Phillips, just inside the edge of the area. Krasnicki, beautiful ball floated over, and Josh Parker's one-on-one -on -one here, and Parker just misses by inches. And if that just doesn't sum Oxford City's day up, I don't know what will. As Josh Parker times his run to perfection, but when...